So I wanted to do like an update, I guess, video of Zenith. Okay, I'm lying. I just wanted to have an excuse to play it because as a YouTuber, you don't really have that much time to play stuff outside of what you put out. And to be fair, I learned few stuff and just how the gameplay kind of resolves. So it's just good to have a clarification video, I guess, after the release. We're on the PCVA version, clearly, because the graphics are much better. They're not like, you know, extremely polished and stuff, but for the purposes of MMORPG, this is like perfect quality that I would want. First of all, I need to reach level 11 because I'm running with level six swords and I can't continue the campaign. So I just need to kind of find the mass events going on. Normally it's easy to find like in the starting area. There's less and less people pretty much on the servers. And I wonder if it's because just the population is slowly declining or everyone is max level at this point. But you know, I mostly play as a Bladerson support because the easiest to kind of solo through the game you have just heals on heals so it's not like i'm forced to because i could play as essence mage just like most people it's literally the easiest class in the game essentially i just need one key in this forest which i can't do it it's just gonna take i don't know five minutes to do so I'll do maybe like a highlights. Long story short, I really like Zenith and what it stands for. Putting out people in the online world to meet and just complete the quests. It's not overly complicated. There are some mechanics that need some polish and would use further understanding of the mechanics. Yeah, I can't focus and just speak at the same time. But I'm basically just doing not enough damage for my level. And I'm under leveled in the forest, that's for sure. Also, yeah, with the combat, you have to wait for those swords to kinda be a load, and it's static uh, time. And a rhythm game. See? I stopped playing. <laughs> what? The <laughs> sure. Okay, I need to kill this kind of boss pig, but she lures monsters here. I can deal with one wolf and her, so we'll see. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in five minutes. Jesus, the teleports. As a blade dancer, it's just hard to play. Sometimes due to lag, sometimes just to monsters having weird patterns. Like they dash, they just... <laughs> That's why playing as Essence Mage is so easy. <laughs> well, one is down, so you're gonna be easy alone up until no one joins. I feel like I'm just, you know, <laughs> doing so much for so little. Like the effort into just doing the quest line. <laughs> but overall, I love the combat, like, it's easy to learn but hard to master. I don't know if I'm a pro at it, but I'm just using the blocks or just the dashes to my advantage. Oh, hell no. <laughs> also, I don't know what are those kind of red spots. I think a weak point that you can put a stagger maybe. It's just the movement is so inconsistent. I can't really aim at it, so I never kind of tried it fully. Yeah, I think stagger. I'll just stay in one place. This wolf is behind me. <sighs> and a key, okay. Oh yeah, also, you can get like upgraded godstones, which... Oh wait, 
That's how it works. You just click on it. Oh, wait. I actually did not know that different godstones provide a variety of minor upgrades. Like every level has one point, but not every godstone has an upgrade. Huh. See, like there's so much to this game that it's not explained at first, but you really have to pay attention. Why? Right. I'll see it later then. Okay, there. Yeah, go there. <laughs> oh wow, that was so basic. <laughs> but this is not basic. Coming back for more. <laughs> I forgot I'm a killer. No mana. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's a new status. Level here, okay. Yeah, Continue. <laughs> It's a weird implementation of the quest, but sure. I don't really know much about the end game. I've heard it's all about gathering materials for legendary equipment and stuff like that. It already seems like the game has kind of limited content, so many people say it's like an early access and I guess so. I do wonder if it's a good idea to like stream it even. Quest platform is really hard in terms of that type of content. But Zenith seems to be like a perfect game to do it. I hope, yeah, this event should give me the level up. I think I saved the event. Is he one-shotting stuff? Yes, I have. Oh. 
Maybe I should not play the support. <laughs> I did not get into cooking or gathering at all for now. It seems like a lot. I'm just focusing on doing the main storyline. Here's the thing like primary stat, but I'm confused what's the difference between the two. Like what does it change exactly? Okay, so overall ability power which influences essentially everything because I saw my godstones scale with AP. And also I need to get into this <laughs> godstones, but I'd love to have time to analyze everything, which I don't. I think the next video that I'll do of Zenith will be about the next class. There are some updates in the meantime, but mainly for the end game content that I can't cover currently. We'll see, you know, but I'm glad that I discovered this minor upgrades that actually changes some stuff. <laughs>